Welcome to Android Development Lab video tutorial. Today we will learn how to unpack or repack boot.img file. First create two folders on desktop. One for official stock ROM of your device. My device is Micromac C313, so I will rename as Micromac C313 stock. Next for custom ROM which is to be ported. I am porting Amigo OS for my device. So I will rename it as Amigo OS Custom. Now import or copy boot.img file of your stock ROM. And paste it inside stock ROM folder as I did for my Micromac C313. Do the same thing for the custom ROM. Import the boot.img file from custom ROM. Paste it in custom ROM folder as I did for Amigo OS. So, now we have two folders, one containing stock ROM boot.img file and other containing custom ROM boot.img file. Now you need to download a software called as boot.img. Link is given in the description below. So download it from there. After downloading paste it on the desktop. Now extract it. After extracting open the folder. Now copy the boot.img file from stock folder that you created earlier to this folder. Now press shift plus mouse right click on preview window and select open command window here. Now write this code here. bootimg.exe space dash dash unpack dash bootimg space boot.img. Then finally hit enter. So you will see the file is extracted here. Now create a new folder as stock and copy all the extracted file from this folder leaving bootimg software. Now again copy the boot.img file from custom folder you created earlier to this folder containing software. Now you need to extract it as well. So follow the same way and same command you followed earlier.
Create a folder called Ported and copy all the extracted file except software called BootIMG to the folder called Ported. Now no need of this folder you created earlier. So better to delete them. Now follow as I do copy and replace a file called kernel from stock folder to ported folder, simply by dragging and dropping. Also open the first folder named initrd of here and copy the file called unevent.rc and paste it to initrd folder of ported ROM like this. This is important to prevent boot loop. Now delete this stock folder because it's not of use now. Now you have successfully created a file for porting. So, it's time to repack them together again. Now copy all the files from ported folder that you extracted and edited, to boot IMG folder that contains software. Delete ported folder as well. Now again click shift plus right click on folder free area. Then select open command window here. Type this command to repack it. Boot IMG.exe space dash dash repack dash boot IMG. Then hit enter. So you can see file is repacked here with two boot files as old and new. So boot-new is your new ported file. Congratulations, you are successful. Now delete all the file except boot-new and keep it on desktop. Rename this file as boot. Now open the custom ROM folder containing zip. and replace the newly created boot IMG file to the folder like this. Now put this custom ROM on your SD card and install it. Hit like if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you for watching.